Greetings, fellow Wasteland survivors. I have returned from the future, and I have seen what lies ahead for mankind. It involves brightly colored clothing and giant shopping mall that we all live in, and we can have whatever we want, provided that we agree to die at the age of 30. Um, Logan's Run, 1976, brought to us by Michael Anderson. We have the story of Michael York, who plays a Sandman. Sandman is someone who tracks down the people who don't want to die at 30 for some odd reason. Why do they run, they ask repeatedly in this movie. Why do they run? Well, Michael York finds out when his little life clock on his palm starts to flash red, and he himself must go on the run. With the help of Jessica Six, uh, played by Jenny Agater, he goes on the run, searching for the elusive sanctuary. Um, this movie, wow. Um, I love it. It, it, is, it is a classic sci-fi film. It came out just before Star Wars kind of really changed the whole genre for everyone. But um, it is dated. It definitely feels like a movie out of 1976, whereas I think Star Wars is much less so. Um, but yeah, it's uh, the the costuming is like you know out of like some commune from 1968, and uh, or as my friend said, like from an episode of Star Trek, the worst episode of Star Trek, um, original series that is, and it's I mean when I it's set in a shopping mall that's that's the set that is used. It's a giant shopping mall in Texas is is what it's used for, which I think works well for the commentary they're making about. Uh, mankind in general, and, and one, our gullibility, but also two, kind of our our desire for stuff. And and if we're going to end up living somewhere indoors all the time, it probably will be a shopping mall, even though the indoor mall has gone a bit the way of the dodo, uh, but not completely. Um, I do love some of the characters they have in here. Uh, Box, played by Roscoe Brown, is, is he's a robot. When you see him, he's fun. Peter Yusinov as an old man. Uh, steals every scene he is in and it's just a good fun movie and you'll see a little uh, cameo by a certain blonde bombshell from from the 70s known as Miss Farrah Fawcett uh, playing a smaller role but a fitting role for what was required of the role um, on a scale of 1 to 10 this is this is kind of like the malls of the 80s it is like the shopping malls of the 1980s where they were grand and they were impressive at the time but that glitter has faded. It, it has taken on a bit less of its luster than it used to have. It still has some appeal to people, like myself, who I will go back and revisit this, but it's more, I think, nostalgia's sake than it is its overall usefulness. Now, I'm not saying malls in general are useless. I mean, some people I know very well make their livings at such places, but I think compared to the heyday that was the 80s, as far as the shopping mall, indoor mall goes, those days are long gone. Um, but if you're looking for just a good, fun little flick, um, dated as it is, with some good commentary just about the society of man and how gullible we can be and, and how kind of consumed by uh, uh, pleasure and desire we, we can be, um, this is definitely one worth checking out. So that's all I've got for this one. Until next time, Stay safe out there in the wasteland, folks.